Today, what I wanted to do was talk to you about seowriting.ai. They've released some really nice features today, and I wanted to make sure that you heard about them as soon as possible. Maybe you already have the tool and you haven't opened it for a while and didn't realize these changes have been made. Or maybe you've thought about purchasing seowriting.ai and this will maybe push you over the top and get you into the tool. It's a tool that I have a subscription to. In fact, before I talk about what the features are, let's just look at the pricing really quick because this is going to matter. It's going to probably push you toward a plan that will enable you to gain access to all these features. So right now, um, SEO writing is billed monthly or billed yearly. The starter plan is $19 a month. It gives you 100,000 words. It gives you 50 article generations. So you'll see how article generations play into the pricing when we look at how to create an article and I show you those new features. Now, my suggestion is if you're only going to have one AI writing tool, you probably want to get into a plan that's going to give you access to every feature that they have available. The professional plan is obviously more money, but you get 150 article generations, you get unlimited words, and the thing is you're going to get external linking, I know that internal linking is coming soon, so is brand voice. There's a new feature called Deep Web and Auto Citations that's part of this new feature rollout. So my suggestion is to go in at the professional plan. Now, the one thing that you want to definitely be aware of is if you decide to buy the professional plan, make sure... Look in the description for this video because what you're going to see is this information. So this information is going to get you 25% off of seowriting.ai. So if you choose to purchase the tool, definitely make sure and take advantage of my discount code and use the link. It'll be in the video description and so you can check it out there. So let's just jump right into building a blog post with SEO writing. So the first thing you need to do is enter a keyword. I'm going to go with something in the mountain biking niche. Let's go with this keyword, why are mountain bikes so expensive? We'll have SEO writing generate a title, gives us a title. Again, this is auto-generated. You can set up this title any way that you want to. Uh, I'm going to go with English language. I'm going to go with an, an informational tone of voice. I'm going to leave the point of view at none. I'll let SEO writing select that. Of course, you can do first person singular, first person plural, second and third person, target country. I'm just going to pick United States. So now here's where you need to make some decisions. Do you want this to be a medium sized article? You know, how big an article do you want this to be? I'm just going to go with a small article. I think these really, really long articles, most people probably don't read through the whole thing. So I'm just going to go with small. You have some different AI models you can use. In this case, I typically use the premium model. For example, when you choose the premium GPT 4 128K turbo model, it's going to use seven times as many words. So if it's a 3,000 word blog post, it's going to use 21,000 of the words that you have available to you in your account for the month. So readability is a new feature that they've offered. I really love this because what we're trying to do is make blog posts more readable. This is a new feature, readability, based on the Flesh Kincaid Reading Ease score. Now, what I do is I typically will use 8th and ninth grade, so it's a little more easy to understand, easier for people to scan through the content. So I'm going to use that. This is going to use 10 generations for the article creation. So remember, when we were looking at the pricing, you get 150 article generations in this professional plan. When we create this article, we'd use 10 article generations, and we would use seven times uh, the amount of words against our plan. But if you're in the professional plan, you have unlimited words, where this really starts to play a role is if you have the starter plan. Because again, you know, if you had a 21,000 word article, you know, you're going to only be able to create five or six articles with a 100,000 word plan. But let's just jump back, keep going. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with the intense mode. Uh, in the Media Hub, let's just add some images. We're going to say yes. Let's add two images. 
pick an image style. On this case, I'm just going to go with cartoon, like an illustration. Let's pick one YouTube video. Now you can put the layout options in here where you want these images to appear. You can do alternate image and video, alternate video and images, first images, then videos, whatever you want. I'm just going to do alternate image and video. Now SEO. So you can generate NLP keywords. It'll do that for you automatically. You could pull them in from Neuron Writer if you wanted to do that, if you have that as an SEO optimization tool. I'm just going to go with SEO writings keywords that they put in. So we've got that. Now you can put in introductions. So in this case, I'm going to put in a question. And these are really here, this question, statistical or fact, quotation, story or personal or emotional. It's just here so it'll ha help you craft an introduction that'll draw readers in. So let's go ahead, use a conclusion. If tables are necessary, let's let it put tables in. H3s, lists, italics, quotes. I'm just going to turn off key takeaways. I'm going to turn off the FAQ. I don't want that. Now, external linking. So this is a new tool. And I want external links and I want them to be automatic. So I want three to four links and I'm going to put them evenly throughout the article. Now this is another new feature that they offer in the connect to web area. So the external linking is one of the new features. Now connect to web has none. You know, you don't have to connect to the web or basic web where it's only going to access a few relevant sources or you can do deep web plus citation. So it will actually go deeper and scrape other websites. It says scrape 100 plus websites for statistical data. I'm gonna choose that. And then from the standpoint of source links, let's just add source links. And for the sake of seeing what citations look like, let's add the citations as well. Typically, I probably wouldn't do it. I'll tell you why when we look at the article. But in this case, I want you to see how this new feature works. So I'm going to say yes. Now, outlines. You can add your own outline if you want to. We're going to enable the outline editor. I'm going to have SEO writing just generate an outline for me. You could copy and paste from Excel an outline from, let's say, Neuron Writer, if that's your SEO optimization tool. Let's go ahead and click Magic Bag to have it generate an outline. All right, here's the outline. Look through here. And again, if there's something in here that you don't want, you can delete it. Or if you want to, you can add additional headings if you prefer to do that. If you see something that's missing, I'm just going to go with the default outline that they've selected for me. Uh, I'm not publishing to WordPress, so I'm going to just go back up to the top. Now that we've got everything set up, let's run it. And then we'll take a look at the article when it's done. All right, the article is done. So why are mountain bikes so expensive insights? So here's what I was talking about when I was uh, discussing the new citation feature. Notice right here, it's adding citations after some of these sentences. So for example, if your reader clicks on it, this is where it takes them. I don't use the citations because really, I don't want people clicking out of my articles right away. So I probably wouldn't use the citations. But if you were writing something that was maybe a more scientific type of article, perhaps you might want to use these citations and leave them in. But most of them are probably going to lead to competitors' websites. You're also going to want to check and see where these citations are going to. Notice that they're numbered. If they're numbered like one, one here, 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 here. These are all going to the same website. So really, I don't think you need that now. You have to decide whether you want to push people out of your article to other sources. When they're at the bottom, of course, then they're going to see the source links if you want them there. Is it necessary to put them in? No, that's completely up to you. You need to experiment with that. Here's another external link, mountain bike affordability. Here's something from the Global Mountain Biking Network. It's a really good YouTube video that it's embedded. Remember, I asked it to do that. But this is the article. So the key thing is, remember, we asked it to write at a lower grade level. Here are the source links. You can have source links in here or not. That's up to you. Typically, I don't put the citations in. I don't put the source links in. Because what I'm going to do is I use this as the foundation for my blog post. I go in and I edit this post pretty extensively, and I add my own expertise. 
and I add my own insights. I think this is great as a foundation to get you started. After this March core update, I think it's going to be more important for us to not just publish AI articles straight out of the box. I think it's going to be necessary for us to do more editing and adding more of our own expertise here in the future. So now let's take this article and grab it here and drop it into Hemingway. Let's see what kind of score we get from readability. Because if you remember, I asked it to write at an eighth to ninth grade level. So we'll drop it in. So 10 of 126 sentences are very hard to read. According to Hemingway, this is writing at a grade 10 level. Again, how Hemingway scores things compared to Flesh Kincaid can be slightly different. But this is really good. We're down at a grade 10. What I'm trying to avoid are blog posts that are written at like a grade 15. When we choose to generate an article in SEO writing, so for example, let's go back over to the dashboard. The one thing that AI writing tools have a bad tendency to do is to add a lot of fluff into an article. We're trying to avoid that. So that's why this new readability feature in SEO writing is so important because when we choose lower grade levels like eighth or ninth or seventh, we're going to make the article much easier to read. And what's going to happen is when it's written, a lot of those fluff words are going to get cut out and it's going to score better from a readability standpoint. So again, just to stress what's new, let's just jump back over here. The new features, again, external linking. I showed you that. I showed you the deep web connection that can be made, and then the auto citations, all features that are available now in SEO writing. So don't forget, if you do want to purchase SEO writing, make sure, save yourself some money and go to the video description, find this link, get 25% off that price. So you can really save yourself a nice chunk of money if you decide to use this tool. If you're an SEO writing user and you weren't aware of these new features, Jump in, go and use those new features. If you've never used SEO writing before, it is a tool that I have a subscription to. I have the professional subscription and I really like the tool. And these new features make it even better as far as I'm concerned, particularly that readability score. That's really important. So until next time, take care.